All right, let's go ahead and look at another example of using the greatest common factor to factor an algebraic expression. So for this one, we're going to look at the algebraic expression 2x y squared plus 4x squared y to the fifth. And this is the example we looked at a few videos ago in the previous section, and we found that the greatest common factor, or GCF, was 2xy squared. Okay, now just like before, we're just going to use the greatest common factor to factor. And remember, factoring is just dividing. So 2xy squared plus 4x squared y to the fifth, whole thing divided by 2xy squared. And again, split it up into two separate fractions, 2xy squared over 2xy squared, and then plus, so plus sign here translates to a plus sign over here, 4x squared y to the fifth divided by 2xy squared. Now, how does that simplify? Well, notice here we have 2xy squared divided by itself. So if you take something and divide it by itself like that, you're just going to get 1. So this whole thing here is just 1. Okay. Now, it doesn't turn into nothing, so be careful about that. It turns into 1, not just nothing. So be careful about that. It does give us a term that's just 1 here. So we have a 1 here, and then plus what? 2 goes into 4 2 times. x cancels with the squared on the x here. So this is x times x. This is just 1x down here. So we're just left with 1x up here. And then y squared cancels with the y to the fifth up here to give us y cubed. So what's left here? 2x times y cubed. So that's going to give us 2x y cubed left. OK. So what we just found out was when we take 2xy squared plus 4x squared y to the fifth and divide or factor out a 2xy squared, our greatest common factor, what we're left with is 1 plus 2xy cubed. So the way we write that as something that's factored is 2xy squared plus 4x squared y to the fifth equals our greatest common factor multiplied by what's left over when we divide, which is this. Or in other words, the quotient we get when we divide. 1 plus 2xy cubed. Okay, So that's how we factor this algebraic expression using the greatest common factor here. Just like before, divide everything by the greatest common factor. Make sure we split it up into two separate fractions. When we divide, our result is this. So we say the algebraic expression equals the greatest common factor multiplied by the result of the division, the quotient. Okay, So that's that example there.